Here's why your bank won't let you have a password that's longer than eight characters. The financial industry was one of the first to adopt the new digital era. Like every new emerging technology, mistakes were made. The developers of these banking core systems uh, created some flaws. One of those flaws was the column type that they created for storing uh, passwords in the database. And yeah, there was a limit of like eight characters. Some of them, I believe, were six. I've worked on one of these, by the way. I set up a printer for it. <laughs> in the IT industry, this problem is known as technical debt. You see, the developers had already made this new system and it was already up and running and so many people had already adopted it that changing it suddenly became this huge issue and this big problem. Now, I know you're thinking, man, I can't believe they did that. But keep in mind, this was back in the 80s. Uh, back then, one of the biggest hacks happened to AT&T because somebody was able to SSH into, or no, Telnet into their uh, server because it didn't have a password. Now, for the most part, this isn't a problem in the US anymore. Like people went through and they modernized their uh, core banking system. So we don't want to deal with this crap. But there are still some things that are legacy. The South Korean banking system requires you to use Internet Explorer in order to do anything web related. Yeah, that browser that has been extinct for like six, eight years, something like that. Our modern banking systems in the U.S. still have some flaws that are hindering security. A big one is a reliance on insecure multi-factor authentication methods. I'm sure you've been through this. Your bank only allows two-factor authentication through a text message or a phone call. While we're on the subject of insecure passwords, the old NIST methods uh, required you to have like uh, symbols and stuff inside of there and numbers and you know capitalized letters and whatnot. And it turns out that that's not exactly secure. The complexity of the password wherein it is short, but you have like a bunch of different letters and symbols that are inside of there is nowhere near as secure as having just a really long password. Now I use a password manager for everything. It keeps track of all my stuff and they're minimum 30 characters long. But for the older generation, something that I suggest, grab your favorite book, underline oh, roughly half of a sentence, mark it down as being the password for whatever site that you're on and uh, make sure that you add like a number and a symbol inside of there. It gives you a sufficient amount of complexity and it makes it easy for you to remember because now you have a password book. Oh, and for my fellow IT guys who are like, oh, that's not good advice at all. It needs to be random. Dude, have you ever tried to get a 70-year-old grandmother to, like, use a password manager or even write down their passwords in a safe space? This is sufficient for them to protect their Facebook account. It is not sufficient for you to protect your server. Use a password manager. KeyPassXC is free, and so is Vault Warden.